we're going to do an example of a question involving a quadrilateral. Now before I start this question, I am going to point out that I have made for myself a little reference sheet that has all the different theorems that we've learned so far um, to help me out. So we have complementary angles that add to 90, supplementary angles which are a straight line and add to 180, reflex angles which make a full circle and add to 360, opposite angle theorem which says the angles on opposite sides of two straight crossing lines are equal. We have Z pattern in parallel lines, those angles are equal. We have F pattern in parallel lines, though those angles are equal. We have C pattern in parallel lines, those angles add to 180 degrees. I have the sum of the angles in a triangle theorem, otherwise known as SAT with two T's, uh, angles in a triangle add to 180 equilateral triangle all the angles are equal and they all are 60 I wrote 360 but they are all 60 degrees um, in an isosceles triangle or ITT two of the angles are equal they're the ones where the two equal sides meet the unequal side and then our newest theorem which is the sum of the angles in a quadrilateral theorem which says that the angles in a quadrilateral add to 360 so I like to keep this so that I have um, reference to look at while I'm doing questions. So because of the current shutdown, um, we've kind of reduced our expectations and you do not have to memorize all of these theorems, but you need to at least be familiar with them um, so that you know what to use and when. So I have a diagram here and it says determine the measure of the marked angle. And I've got a picture um, that's got three marked angles, X, Y, and Z, that we want to solve for and four angles that are marked that we know the measure of. And so we want to fill out our table by stating what theorem we're going to use, showing any calculations that are necessary, and then stating our final answer. So when I look at this picture, there's a lot going on. I see a triangle on the top, um, and I do like to take a piece of paper or a post-it note or an eraser or my hand or something and cover up parts of the picture to see if I can kind of isolate um, different parts of the geometry that's going on here. So there's a, definitely a triangle on the top. There is also a quadrilateral on the bottom. Um, in this quadrilateral, I notice I'm missing two of the angles, and you can't solve if you're missing two different things. Um, so I think I might start with the triangle on the top. So if I look at my triangle on the top, I know two of those three angles in a triangle, and I know that because of sat with two t's that the angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees so i'm going to use sat that's my theorem and i know that those angles should add to 180 degrees so that means x plus 35 plus 65 so those three angles in that triangle all add together to make 180 degrees then I'm going to solve that equation by collecting my like terms. So I'm going to add 35 and 65. I don't really need my calculator for that. That adds to 100. Then that equals 180. And then I'm going to try to solve for x by canceling out that plus 100 by subtracting 100 from both sides. And I get that x equals 180 take away 100 is just 80 degrees. So that means here, under the answer, I'm going to write that our final answer here is 80 degrees. Okay. I'm also going to label on my picture that this is 80 degrees. That might help me solve the next part. So I am going to take a look again at my diagram. So we did the triangle on the top, and we got that that angle was 80 degrees. And I still have that quadrilateral on the bottom, but I'm missing two of the different angles in that quadrilateral. And that's a problem because I can't solve unless they're the same, and I really don't think they're the same, they don't look the same size. Um, I can't solve for two things at the same time. So there has to be another way in this diagram to either figure out Z or Y. So Z is over here all by itself, and it doesn't really have any other angles connecting with it that are marked or that I might be able to solve with. But Y is the next door neighbor of angle X here. And if you take a look, X and Y together form a very nice straight line. So this is actually a straight line here connecting 
x and y, and that is our supplementary angle theorem, otherwise known as SAT. Two angles that make a straight line add to 180 degrees. So these two angles here make a straight line, so they are going to add to make 180 degrees. So I'm going to write that we're doing SAT with only one T, and I'm going to say that Y plus X, which is 80 degrees, equals 180. I don't have any like terms that I need to collect, so I'm just going to subtract 80 from both sides. And I get that Y is 100 degrees. I'm going to fill in 100 degrees over here in my answer column. All right, our last part, oh, I'm going to label here that this is 100. Um, our last part is to try to find Z, so I am going to cover up this top part again. Um, and I've got that quadrilateral, and now I know three of the four angles, which is good. So we just learned about the sum of the angles in a quadrilateral theorem, which says that the four angles in a quadrilateral add to 360 degrees, and that is SAQT. So my theorem that I'm using is SAQT. And then if I add these four angles together, it should equal 360 degrees. So Z plus 115 plus 85 plus 100 all together will equal 360 degrees. So I'm going to collect my like terms. I'm going to add 115, 85, and 100. So 115 plus 85 plus 100 gives me a grand total of 300. Now if I solve by subtracting 300 from both sides, I get that Z is 360 take away 300 is 60 degrees. So Z, our final answer, is 60 degrees.